Are you calling Paul? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, you at your crib? Right now, we just waiting for my partner to come back around with the truck so we can all fit in there and go to our next destination where I get to change and relax for a little bit before the show starts. The doors were supposed to open up at 8 o'clock. They're letting people in early. So oh, it's well. first come, first serve. If y'all get here, you get here. If you don't, I still love you. Just don't just make sure. Ball. Just make sure you, you make the next show. And make sure you're here on time. Because y'all up against each other. <laughs> important songs to me and where they came from, when I wrote them, where, what they mean to me, you know, like, So you, so, so would you say that, um, realistically, um, you blossomed in, uh, and being out in LA? Oh, definitely. I've definitely grown a lot. I mean, I grow every year, no matter where I am, but, you know. In which type of way do you feel? Just as a man, you know. Um, I figure thing. I figure out how to make my life easier as much as I can. You feel me? Absolutely. I'd lie to you if I say I figured it out every day, but every day I feel like I'm working to make my life a little bit easier. You know, that's for me. That's the main goal. Let's let's try to make life a little bit easier. You know. Right. So your name is Justin Love, that's right? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, what's the definition of love to you? Timeless harmony. You know something forever something that doesn't die so if That's you was to choose moment. if you was to choose one person in the industry right now to work with and that expired you who would that who uh, who would that be Ty Dolla Sign and for what reason we both got like the same style and like rasp and you know we both write and we're really hands on with what we create you know what I'm saying would you classify yourself as a celebrity no nah, I don't think I'm a celebrity what would Not you yet. classify yourself as? I'm a great individual. So what's the average date to you since you're just in love? Uh, working a lot, all the time. Okay. Always working, no matter what I'm doing. Um, I'm working somehow. Three words that describe just in love. Making it happen. So, and, you, uh, so what city are you currently in right now? Right now I'm in New York City. I just, I'm setting up for my for my listening party at the Delancey. Okay, and what does that consist of? It consists of me talking to my fans and friends and family and anybody who loves me that shows up. So I'm what's just expressing to them, you know, where I've been, what I've been up to, uh, how hard I've been working, uh, what I had to sacrifice to, to get to this point, and um, just helping people just understand what my future goes on, you know? So look, Hip Hop Gym, Justin Live, we're here. We're at your next stop, where we at? Right now we at my stylist house, shout out to Adam. I'm about to get, get these clothes on, look at everything on me, and see if there's anything we need to change in my fit. Absolutely. As we're here at Hip Hop Gym, Justin Love. Um, our next stop, like you said, the stylist, so we're here. We're <laughs> I just have a connection, that's why I want to have that. I literally have almost three hours worth of music, bro. I wrote out questions for myself, and I know my fans would really appreciate me answering, you know? And throughout I, throughout these questions and throughout this Q&A going on, I also, you know, incorporate other people in the crowd and any questions that they have, you know, that way I can answer for my fans in person, you know what I'm saying? And um, I want to do this pretty often. I don't just want to want to do this one time. I feel like the love experience is very personal, and not everyone gets to experience it. Uh, relationships ain't not is not the same from from back, back then. In the day, no. Back in the day, it was more. What was it? It was more like, hey, we're, we're fucking sucking and getting the money, right? And then everybody, right? <laughs> 
But now, like, this is the millennium we live today. It's like you're fucking, you're sucking, getting the money. Back then, it was more personal. It was more like, we're going to build this, and we're going to build this into stability love and, like, grow kids in the home and all that. Nowadays, 95% of the people that are having children, it seems like they're coming from broken homes. I mean, listen, as long as you're not the one fucking up, it's good. You feel me? Absolutely. If I make love cool again, as long as you support the love game, you know I mean? <laughs> like, just, just be a loyal man, that's all I ask. One to one. One to one. One to one. One one for sure. So, so I need, I need, I need a fucking <laughs> army. <laughs> oh, no love, children running around. You feel know I me? Mean? A whole love game. I'm gonna have a whole farm. You gonna see? You gonna have a farm? A farm? I'm gonna have a farm. That's a fact. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have cows, turkeys, fucking tigers, a whole family of golden retrievers, pit bulls. Trust me, people gonna wanna come to my crib. She's releasing her she's going And then she got me just more like she's great. the sound and the melody, man. Yeah, well, I haven't seen her in a minute. I was so we here man, hip hop gym, we here, we here live, just in love. Shit, vlog one. Fucking it's gonna be an amazing night. Uh, craft use behind the lenses, behind the film, behind, behind everything, you know what I mean? So, shout out to Craft Use, Justin Love, you know what I mean? Shout out to Adam for his a dope, amazing spot, the whole management team he got going on. Dope people, man, dope environment, great vibes. That's what we're about, love games. I'll be sitting there. Don't say nine and a half, because that half is that you need to start respecting. Yeah, see him. Okay, what's on the feet, man? You got some St. Laurent's? Uh huh. Try them on. Simple Chelsea boot, nothing too crazy. Black leather, anything. I, I, I wanted to go all black and white with it, you feel me? These are cool, I didn't like the, the color, something wasn't right, you know? <laughs> Got them SLs. Huh? SLs. What that stand for? The people Saint that do Saint LeBron. We gotta shoot around here. So let's shoot around here. Okay. Once you get a few dope pictures, you can come back upstairs and tell everybody when we're ready. Okay. We always ready. And then just like throw a leg up. And I love her. It's okay. Love hurts sometimes. I don't know how good this deli might be either. Remember those, Justin? They'll bring you way back? What? Huh? Yeah, right back to yesterday, shit. Yesterday? <laughs> it don't matter how rich I am, I'm, I'm, I'm always a noodle head, you feel me? So you microwave it, or do you actually boil the water on the stove so, top? No, no, no. It depends how lazy I am. I got you. Sometimes I, I make it extra special, put an egg, some parsley in that bitch. Like that? You feel me? And you just do it like that too, right? <laughs> you gotta scrunch the face. I've been running away I've been running away for a long time Away Everybody, I need everybody's attention Anybody who came to this listening party Definitely came here To experience the love experience First and foremost, I want to thank everybody that came out, everybody here. What I'm about to say means the world to me, and I need everybody to respect it, please. I ain't perform or, like, y'all haven't really heard much from me. I've just been dropping music here and there, you know what I'm saying? Just so y'all know, 
I have not not been working. You feel me? Um, today you guys are gonna get to experience everything I've been working on while I've been gone. Right? So majority of this music, yeah, some of y'all heard before, but a lot of it you have not heard before. First and foremost, I wanna thank once again everybody that came out. Shout out to Grunch Cake for helping me throw this. You feel me? Shout out to my team, anybody else that helped me really put this together, Perez, Dave, plugged in, uh, 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 my team, Love House, Mia, I see you, shout out to you. Uh, Sito, I see you, shout out to you. In the, in the, in the middle of, of me, you know, showing my music, I'm gonna stop it once again, and I have questions that I had wrote out for myself that I feel like a lot of my fans really wanna know about me, and you know, what I've been doing and, and, and why I'm here, you feel me? So, with that being said, please enjoy yourselves. I'm gonna come around, say hi to everybody. I just want this to be comfortable for everybody, you feel me? Enjoy yourselves, grab a drink, grab a drink with me. I'm a everything I'm a I'm If I hop out, ooh, you can see the gel on my feet. Girl, I can't complain, stay how you are And I shouldn't watch you fall from me If I could take your heart away I promise that for you hardly be Make a request, put in a favor Just tell me yes, tell me you won't go Give me your hand, let me make this promise I know I can't keep, but right now all I need Hold on you, I got it, I can't lose it, I can't lose you Hey, I need everybody to put their drinks up, take a shot with me real quick Thanks. Give me a mess. 
Yes, I've been waiting so long to find a freaking Only one that wants your body Ain't the only one Only one that put you closer Ain't the only one That will make you baby mine Ain't the only one Only one Only one that wants you Cause everybody wants you Everybody wants you So you guys can really know about Justin Love. Like, what would you give yourself five years ago, knowing what you know now? Five years ago, I'd have been studying the, uh, I feel like, the, just the logistics of what I actually got myself into was. Um, I just tell myself to be careful who you, who you, you know, do business with. Be careful with who you trust. Um, love no, love no. <laughs> definitely a love no. And uh, I would tell myself to do things more myself, no matter how much I feel like I'm doing by myself, you know? Um, sometimes, you know, like in the beginning of your career, you as an artist, like you really got to do everything. You have to do everything, you know? Like up until you really can't do it anymore, like, bro, yeah, you got to be four, five, six different people, you know what I'm saying? So what was something that you accomplished that you were proud of that you're like, damn, I did that. Like, I made that happen. Uh, I mean, the, the Grammy uh, writing. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, focus, focus made a really big impact in, in, my, in my livelihood, not only my livelihood, not only my career, but definitely you know, just my living situation. You know, as an artist, I ain't gonna flex like I'm a rich motherfucker because I'm definitely not. I got a mom to take care of, a little brother to take care of. I have a life of my own, you feel me? And it's like, damn, you know, like, there's a lot that, like I said in, in, in this, in the last class, there's a lot that you just gotta sacrifice but do on your own in order to just make it happen. And I, 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 I'm definitely proud of how I made it right where I'm Nigga, at in front of y'all. Nigga, you a Grammy Awards? Damn! Damn. 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 And to stay so humble is what amazes me <laughs> every day with you. Like, real, real, real shit. Like, love is love, man. If y'all show me love, I show you love, you feel me? As long as I feel like it's real, let, let's get it, you know? But once you do me wrong, love can hurt. Real shit. Ready? Yeah. So I've been in a couple sessions with you. Okay. What is your recording process like? And when is it like, yo, this is it? Because I've seen him sit there and write shit like this, and he's like, yep, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> so how's that, how's that work? Uh, it, it's all in the, it's like, I mean, how do I know it's finished? That, that's a moment thing, like, I don't know. It's you either feel it or you don't. Like, you really gotta just practice your intuition and know when something is something. You know, that's all on you. But as far as my creative process, sometimes I go in there and I freestyle something and something happens. Or I'll go in what I call free mumble. Like, I just mumble some words, mumble some melody. I, I'm probably not saying shit throughout the whole song, but 
Afterwards, I'll listen to that. As far as my process goes, I mean, I just listen back to my melody. I listen back to what I like the most, you know? I'll, I'll uh, just write as I listen, and, um, and I'll have something, you know? I'll just keep going until I'm done. But I make sure that every time I go to the studio, I'm finishing a song at least. The whole song. You feel what I'm saying? Like, every time I go to the studio, I got a song. You know? So, uh, next question. Artists, don't go through the same shit that you've been through. You know? You're yeah. still young, but you've been through it already. So, God. I mean, it all matters, like, who you work with. How much experience they have. Because I feel like the reason why I went through the troubles that I did go through, I, I went through them because I, the, the team that I was with was just inexperienced at the time. Not to say that where they're at now, they can be bad for somebody else, you know? I don't mean to bash them, but but as far as for me and what we were doing when we were focused on what I had to do, it just didn't work, you know? And, and honestly, like, luckily enough, I, I found my way out that situation and I found, you know, a team that fit my brand, a team that knew exactly how to move me, push me, get me out anything negative and, you know, move forward. I want to give a big shout out to Big Paul. Big Paul's in the back. He pretty much yeah. saved my life. Yeah. Big Paulie! Yo, yeah. shout out to Love House Productions. You feel me, Big Paul? Let's give another round of applause for Big Paul. Yes. 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 A, lot, a lot of this wouldn't be possible without Big Paul. Um, shout out to Gray Space as well. That is my current management team. They're doing a phenomenal yeah. job. So let's give a round of applause to Gray Space as well. Yes. So yeah, it's just really important that you really just find the right team, find the right people who fit you. And yeah, maybe maybe certain people you're working with right now don't fit you and you just got to visit that conversation and communicate. It's all about communication. Don't be scared to talk to nobody. You feel me? Because I feel like I was scared to, you know, confront that situation and then it got too, it got too late when I was ready to confront the situation. You follow what I'm saying? And then the situation was too big. It got it got bigger than what it actually could have been if I would have just visited that conversation right then and there. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what I was gonna. That was my next question for you. Is like, when when was it like, all right, enough's enough. I'm done. Like, what did it take for you to be like, it's over? Like, I felt very alone. I felt very alone. Like I had to, you know, I just felt like I had to push away my friends and I had to push away my my, my family, my mom and everything that I, 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 I didn't know that I loved as much as I did, to be honest, if I was to keep it a thousand with y'all. And so like, you don't know what you have until you spend enough time away from it. And you're like, holy shit, like I need, I need, for me, I need my mom, you feel me? I don't know, I'm pretty much gonna take my mom anywhere I go, I think. As you should. You feel me, so. That's real gangster, cuz. Yeah, yo, so that's just me. Um. When did I know that was it? Man, I said it, like, I just felt alone. I, I knew that I didn't know enough myself and I felt like too much was being kept away from me. So I just really had to, you know what? I'm a, I might just fuck around and run away and just start learning shit. I might read a book or something like and I that. hate reading, like I hate that. reading. I know a lot of us in here probably do not like to fucking read. I read, I read. Listen, <laughs> you know what, shout out to y'all. I said a lot of y'all don't like to read. Uh -huh. Shout out to y'all, but I hate reading. I hate nah, reading. Not me. I'm not a reader at all. You feel me? So, with that being said, listen, motherfuckers, listen to me. I love y'all. I like to read, nigga. Yo, but with that being said, like it really made me, it motivated me to be able to find a passion in fucking trying to figure it out and read books. Like, yo, you got no choice. You feel me? Like, go, go make it happen. So. I knew when it, it was it when I, like shit Hold just it down, everything it down. started falling apart. You know what I'm saying? And I just didn't know what was going on anymore. And I needed to get a grasp for myself. You know, um, and that's when I knew. That's crazy. I think a lot of artists can relate to that that feeling of loneliness and like you go through it, especially when you expect so much from it and it doesn't go the way you plan. But it takes continuous and just keep grinding to to push through what you have done. So what did you have to sacrifice? To get where you are now, because I know you've been through a lot. So what did you sacrifice? I know you talk a lot about it in your songs. Well, I feel like <laughs> uh, people expect, like, you know, you sacrifice relationships and people, you know. But in, in reality, what you sacrifice is just time, you know. You sacrifice the time you spend away from people that you really want to spend time with, you know, because you got to focus on yourself. 
you know, and that's just that's just me. Like, I had to figure it out. My mom was in a fucked up situation, you know, like it's my parents in general. Like we weren't in the best situation, and I just had to like that just made me not really be in the best situation either because now I got to figure out how to make this shit happen on my own, you know? Of course, my mom supports me. My father supports my music career. But the thing is, it's like they don't know shit about it. They don't know nothing about it. They just think, oh, rapper, singer, success happens or doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Like It either works or it doesn't. And for most people, it doesn't, you know? And, um, yeah. That's real. That's real. That's real. So, who has influenced you or has played major roles in your life thus far in your career? Shy, I mean. Do it. Um, I gotta start from the beginning. Let me close my eyes. I gotta get into this. Get in the zone. Get in the zone. Do what you gotta Um. do. Obviously, first and foremost, my mother, she sings her ass off all the time for no reason. So shout out to her. <laughs> shout out to your mother, you know? Shout out mama to Mrs. Love, you heard? Uh, second to Mama Love, um, man, I want to give a big shout out to, you know, Danilo and Nino aren't here. But I grew up in Cliffside Park, New Jersey. There's like nothing over there. Um, there's nothing going on. Um, shout out to Bergen County. I don't know, I live in Richfield, yeah. but... Uh... <laughs> You know, I shout out to Cliffside Park. Yeah. You gotta make it like. like okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm def- I definitely plan on bringing a lot of entertainment to where where I grew up and where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? It's very. It's not. It's not as. Uh, appeasing, I guess. Right now, but it will be. <clears throat> Danilo and Nino were the only two kids that, well, Danilo was like the bad cop. He told me I was trash, right? He told me to quit, never, never. I tried rapping. He was like, bro, you fucking suck. Never do that shit again. And I'm like, wow, okay. And then Nino was like, no, don't listen to him. You know, like, listen, like, you got something there. Like, you just gotta, you gotta work it on it a little bit, you know? Like, so it was like a good cop, bad cop situation, but we always, like, we always recorded together. We learned how to produce. We learned how to write. Like that's where I really learned how to, you know, just just the basic formula of my music and pushing it forward. You know what I'm saying? I also want to give a big shout out to uh, uh, like Water, Mr. Ola, right? Because if it wasn't for Danilo or Nino, I wouldn't know him. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Yeah. So that's Cliffside Park. Then we got. Um, let's think. We got Destin. Destin's in Patterson right now. Destin Hill. He was part of this R&B group that was like, you know, they were on uh, on some MTV show. But I just felt so cool chilling with chilling with him. And you know, he he's the one who really gave me my first software. He gave me my first computer with with reason on reason. it. And if it wasn't if it wasn't for reason, I actually have reason, the logo tatted. Yeah, I need a check reason. Anybody who <laughs> if y'all see this. Um <laughs> Yeah, I, reason is the reason I'm alive for sure. Because if it wasn't for reason I I have no reason being here, I feel that, you know? Um so shout out Destin. Um who else could I shout out? Man, I want to just shout out, you know, all of my haters. I wanna, like, y'all really motivated me a lot to just move forward and keep doing what you don't want me to do. Um, because I'm coming for everything you ever said I couldn't. You know? uh, that's one. I mean, I want to give a big shout out to my production team, you know, Paul, once again, big Paul, you know, if it wasn't for Paul, I wouldn't be half the man I am right now, you know what I'm saying, so, yes, that's that, and yeah, shout out Great Space, my management, shout out Sito on the beat, shout out Fastlight, you know, shout out, shout out to, to Shot Books, I don't know if you're here, if you're here or not, but y'all played a huge part in my, in my career, you feel me? Um, shout out well, to the people that are talking in the back that are being disrespectful. Shout out, shout out to everyone <laughs> talking in the back. Yes. Shout out to y'all too. Uh, but next question, let's 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 keep it moving. So who 
who have you lost along the way that you're like, I wish I could just reach back out and um, continue communication with them? That's a crazy question. I knew it was only one, bro. I knew it was only one. Nah. Oh, man. Because nah. it's fucked up is that the microphone doesn't work. <laughs> but, but, it went out on the perfect time. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. He had his mic on the perfect time. Oh, perfect time. Perfect time. Perfect time. Perfect time. Oh. That means don't even say it. Yeah. It's, 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 I didn't get to mention him because he played uh, one of the biggest roles in my music career, uh, Kurt. Curtis Wright, um, he probably has no idea about this. He does not give a fuck about Instagram or social media. Nah, not well. Shout out to Craig, word. Craig, shout out to Craig. But um, uh, I'm talking about Kurt right now. Kurt helped me put together my first project professionally. When my parents were like going through it and breaking up and shit, I just, I didn't have to run away, but I, I just, I was broke. I was sleeping on the floor. I was living off the Tostitos bags. I was for like three days straight just eating honey buns. Like that's the best 50 cents I've ever oh, had oh, oh, in God. my life. Yeah. You know? I'm dead. Honey buns. Honey buns. Honey buns. Honey buns. You guys. Definitely had to had to like really be so like I had to stand up to let y'all know how much I really care about y'all caring about me because listen I'm not saying that I need it to the point where without y'all I'll die but there are people out there that think that they're nothing without the people that started supporting them you feel me so with that being said. Let's continue this love experience. I really love y'all to death. Thank you for being here up front and listening to what I have to say. You feel me? And that's it. Love gang, enjoy yourself. Right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Part of what you feel If you've been open 